Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make an event timer. So this timer will keep track of when something happens and how long it will happen. So in this example I have a timer that's counting up one second at a time, just a general timer. And I also have a mouse time timer. And that's going to keep track of how long the mouse is over this yellow ellipse. Okay, so let's look at the code and see how this works. So I have a global variable that's going to keep track of how much time the mouse is on the shape. And then in my setup function, I'm just drawing the canvas and setting the frame rate to 30 frames per second again. Now I'm going to skip to the draw function. So in the draw function, I'm just drawing the background. And again, I'm making the current time the integer of how many milliseconds converted to seconds. That's how much current time has passed. And then I'm going to, I'm just drawing the ellipse. I'm filling it with yellow. A black outline, a stroke of zero. I'm making the ellipse stored in this object start, position at the width divided by two, middle of the screen, and the height divided by two, middle of the height, at 130 pixels right and 70 pixels down. Now we're checking the mouse over the shape. So how are we doing that? I'm checking to see if the mouse's x value is bigger than the left edge and smaller than the right edge in between new spots. And I'm checking if the mouse Y position is between the top and the bottom. So the mouse has to be between these four sides. And then the mouse timer will start. And if it's off it, then it will stop. So I'm using the mouse position, the mouse X and Y position, and I'm comparing it to the ellipse X, Y position for the top, bottom, left, and right. And if the mouse is over the ellipse, then I'm running the function start mouse over timer. And that is up here. The start mouse over timer is just retrieving the delta time. Delta time is the amount of time from the beginning of the last frame to the start of the current frame. So it's how much time it takes to display one frame, basically. So it's adding that time each time. So if I console log this, so I just show you here, shape, it takes about 33 milliseconds between the start of the previous frame and the start of this frame. And I've programmed with 30 frames per second. So 30 times 33 is, is about a second, hey? Eh? So that's why I'm using delta time. Delta time measures the time between the start of the last frame and the start of the current frame. So I'm just adding each delta time to the mouse time. And that's going, that time is accumulating as long as the mouse is over the shape. And then the heads up display showing in text the time and the current time variable together at this X position and this Y position. And then I'm doing changing the green uh, fill to show green text and the mouse time and I'm rounding the mouse time to one decimal place. So that's what this round function means. It says round, I'm rounding this variable mouse time divided by a thousand to convert it into seconds because mouse time is in milliseconds. I have to convert milliseconds into seconds and then I'm rounding that to one decimal place at this X position and this Y position. 